Hi, my name is Rebecca Martin and I'm an associate editor for Mother Earth News Magazine and I'm going to be talking to you about pressure cooking. I brought my pressure cooker from home and we're going to take a little tour of the pressure cooker and I'm going to tell you how it operates and then I'm going to tell you about the benefits of pressure cooking and why you should be trying it at home. Now just one word of caution, do not try canning in a pressure cooker. Cookers are not sturdy enough. They're designed to make meals in a very short period of time, but they are not sturdy enough for you to can goods in them. Now, the bottom part of the pressure cooker looks a lot like your standard stock pot in many ways, except the base is very heavy and solid, and that's so that it will conduct the heat better from your stove, and it'll also prevent food from scorching. The inside of the pot has a maximum fill line etched on the inside, and that's very important. You don't want to overfill a pressure cooker. You want to put your raw food in it, no higher than the maximum fill line, and a half cup of liquid at minimum. That's really important because the liquid, when the pressure cooker becomes heated, the liquid creates steam. The steam becomes superheated, and it needs a place to go to achieve pressure, and that's going to be that top cavity, that empty part of the pot. Now let's look at the lid. The inside of the lid has a rubber gasket. That's going to help us create a seal to bring the pot to pressure. And the top of the lid has an assembly that includes a pressure indicator, a lock, and a couple of different levels of pressure cooking. Let's pretend I filled my pot with raw food to the maximum fill line, put in half a cup of liquid. Now I'm ready to cook. I'm going to line up the indicator on the lid and the handle and then I'm going to bring the two handles together and you can see there's some resistance in bringing them together that's because that rubber gasket is doing its job and creating a seal. Now I choose either low cooking or high cooking on this particular cooker with the indicator and then I lock the handle. I can't bring this pot to pressure without locking the handle that's a safety feature. Now I turn the heat on high on my stove. That's going to bring the contents to boil on the inside of the cooker. And eventually, within usually five to 10 minutes, pressure will be achieved. And I'll know that because this little yellow rod indicator on the lid will pop up. At that point, the pressure cooker gets very quiet and it's efficiently doing its job inside. You wanna leave it alone and set a timer so that you know exactly when you're supposed to turn off the heat and let the pressure cooker come to normal pressure. Now, if you haven't tried pressure cooking at home, it's really important that you do so for several reasons. If many of you are busy like I am, you're busy during the day, you don't have time to think about supper, you come home and everybody's hungry, a pressure cooker is going to be great for you because it cooks in literally one third the time that a normal meal would take you. Because you're using so little liquid to cook your food inside a cooker, the flavors are very concentrated and they taste like you've been cooking for a long time on the stove or in the oven. But because the cooking time is so short, you're using a lot less energy to cook your food. Um, that's going to save you money also. And the part I like best is that I'm not heating up the kitchen in the summertime when I want to keep my house cool. Another great reason to have a pressure cooker is that the steam, that superheated steam, is going to tenderize tough cuts of meat, like stew meat, for example. I just made a stew last week and it literally was under pressure for just 16 minutes and then another 10 minutes coming down to room pressure. In half an hour, I had a stew that tasted like it had been cooking on the stove for hours. So I've told you some reasons to try pressure cooking. I hope you will, and I also hope you'll visit our website for more information and some recipes for your pressure cooker.